You remember our, our reaction when we saw the first few when we came over the hill? Wait till you see this. Look at this. Boy, that view right there is hard to beat. I can't imagine coming out to this every day. It don't matter what kind of stretch you got going on in the world, when you come out here, all that goes away. What's neat about Kirkwood Farms is when you come through the gate, you top the hill, and you see the lake, and you see the cabin, you're hooked immediately. We get calls all the time and you know people they give us an idea of their wish list on a property. Things they're looking for are stock fishing lake, cabin, place to chase after deer, turkey. Well Kirkwood Farms is that place plus more. The thing that I like about the cabin is it's not your traditional cabin. It's it was constructed out of containers and you really have to see it to, to get an appreciation for it. You've got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's immaculate. He's got a huge wraparound porch all the way around. Not only do you have electric hookup, you've also got solar and you got generator backup. You've got gas, you've got a fire pit, uh, you've got the view overlooking the lake. It's a one of a kind view. Once you get away from the cabin site, you're gonna find hardwoods that are in rolling terrain. You're gonna find hardwoods in bottom land. You've got creeks and small tributaries that run through the property. Uh, from a recreational standpoint, you've got a very big area on a high transmission line that you can plant all the food plots that you want for deer and turkey. You've got areas of young plantation pine, small food plots, internal trail systems. It just caters very well to the recreational enthusiasts. The attention to detail when you're walking around, I mean, it's amazing. You've got three wells to help control not only the house, but to help control the lake level. You've got about a 30 by 40 foot shop to keep your implements in. Traveled around, the lake was constructed well, you've got riprap, you got gray rock. Not only is it a stock lake, it's also a managed lake. Everything's been done to make sure that it's at its best capabilities. You've got F1 tiger bass, you got bluegill, and you got shad. Not only does a property like this not become available often, it's hard to recreate. And when you get to talking about the recreational value, the entertainment value, and the year-round use, not only does it check those boxes, it exceeds that.